No. That's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. Is she the same one I was just like hunting rifle owning or what? Because she was kind of like in a cage and had tentacles and shooting bats and shit like that so I'd kind of like kick her off the edge of that building as opposed to like carry her around and stuff like that but I guess that's why I'm different to germs. I don't trust X I'm dead? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck shit is in Sonic. The real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. Now, we can be together. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. The 
Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me, but I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. Oh, can I talk now? Oh, great. Fucking hell, that was long. Oh, was it me or... Oh, my... Are you fucking kidding me? Don't... No. No. James. Oh, fucking bitch. You made me happy. Are you done? Are you done? You're done. Good. Hey, was it me or did, um... Fucking hell, it's never sound drop sound on. Or did James, um, top himself there? I'd heard there's like, what, about five or six endings or something like that? I presume we've got a pretty duff one there if James killed himself. <laughs> oh well. Actually, it's probably. <laughs> out of all the endings, if we've got an option out of endings, I probably wouldn't have minded that anyway, to be honest. Cause it's a nice grim ending for Sound Hill, really. Well, yeah, that was pretty sweet overall, guys. I actually read some reviews that said Sand Hill 2 was really fucking long. It's like, uh, really? That's not that long, really. But then saying that it was back in the days when survival horror was still pretty new, I mean, you had like, what, when this came out? Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, maybe? And, um, Sand Hill 1. So, I mean, I'm not, was Code Veronica out at the time? I mean, Code Veronica's longer than this, I think. But, I mean, if you count. If you don't count Code Veronica, I mean, you've got like Sand Hill 1, uh, Resident Evil 1 is about, what, an hour or two? Resident Evil 2, a couple of hours per character. Resident Evil 3, five to six hours at most. So, in regards to that, this will, what, like about ten hours at most, or something like that? So, yeah, I guess it is kind of like longer than the ones that were around at the time, but not really. I mean, that was good, that. Good, interesting story. A nice, um, everybody dies ending. Yeah, I like a bit of that shit. Certainly creepy enough. A few times it tried to make you absolutely shitty pants. Didn't work though, Silent Hill did not work. But give it credit for trying. Give it credit for trying. Because I was scared though. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed that. It was good. It's nice to play a horror game with a bit of horror into it as opposed to uh, Dead Space. Yeah, as much as I enjoyed Dead Space, it did leave a slightly um, sour taste in my mouth in regards to the actual horror aspect of it. So that was that was nice. Only gripe in regards to Sand Hill 2 by itself is the combat, which wasn't that bad. At least versus the Pyramid and uh, the um, the last fight, you could actually um, 
move around a little bit and kind of like, well, it wasn't really much to it. You move away, you shoot, you move away, you shoot, but it's like I said before, you don't play like these kind of games for the combat, really. So I was interested enough. Overall, what would I give Santa? I mean, graphic-wise, 